What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I am your host, or should I say, welcome to the Let's Play for the Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. I know I am, like, super excited to get into this, and I really do hope um, that you all are as well. Welcome. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't already watched my previous playthroughs on this, you know, we've we've played the game quite a bit of times back when it originally came out on the PlayStation 4. I've got a Let's Play of it where we did go around and look at a lot of stuff, but I didn't really take the amount of time that I think that this game deserves. And so that is what this playthrough of it is going to be. This is going to be the playthrough in the ultimate of quality. It's going to be in 4K. So for those of you out there that have 4K screens, you know, you're going to be able to hopefully really, really enjoy this and get a lot out of it. We also have a walkthrough of the game uh, played as well. Those were in 1080 because back in 2016, the PlayStation Pro hadn't been out yet. So uh, there was no way to play games in 4K or whatever. They were just pretty much... Um, uh, it was We could only record it in 1080p. So um, you're going to see it at the most highest fidelity. This is the PlayStation 5, obviously, as you can see here played the game a few times and I'm just so excited to do this. It's going to be very thorough. We're going to be taking our time. We're going to be really, really enjoying every little nook and cranny of this game. For those of you that don't know me, maybe you're watching for the first time. First of all, say hello in the comments. Even if you're not watching this live, say hello, get to know us. I, I want you to get to know me as well. I, I love video games and I love really, really like showing off what video games are and how they kind of help us get through life sometimes, you know, whether you're having trouble, you know, throughout your day, or it's just been a bad year, bad month, week, whatever it is, video games can help us escape that harsh reality. So I'm going to let what's going on in my life uh, kind of just get washed away by playing a little bit of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. So one of the cool things about this is you can import your game from your PlayStation 4, which allows you to, you know, start the game anywhere you want, uh, you know, if you've beaten it already, which I've beaten it many, many times. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to start up a new game. I was debating on whether or not I wanted uh, which difficulty. Well, actually, first, let me show you the uh, the options here. So if you go to display, you'll see that there's a new option that you never had the chance to view before, and that was the rendering mode. So there's fidelity, there's uh, performance, and then there's performance plus. So as I always do with every playthrough uh, that I do of a game that has the option to choose uh, different settings. We're going to, you know, play like a minute or so um, in fidelity mode. Um, but mostly, I believe we're going to stick to the performance mode, and I'll explain why. So fidelity mode is 4K, 30 hertz, just straight up 4K, 30. That's it. It's a true native 4K uh, that you're watching. However, performance is uh, 1440p upscaled to 4K with 60 frames a second. So I think the performance mode is going to be way better because it's going to be so much smoother. We've never played Uncharted 4 or uh, Lost Legacy in 60 frames a second unless you played the multiplayer. So it's going to be a, almost a completely different experience when you're playing a game when you've got that much when you got double the amount of frame rate. So I'm super excited for that. I know maybe all of you out there don't really care too much, but I am. So uh, with that being said, we're going to start in performance mode. I will change it over to fidelity for a few minutes at some point so you guys can just see how that looks. And you can tell me if you see a difference. Uh, you should definitely see a difference in the frame rate. And there's also one more, and it totally takes you out of the game and then comes back in. But in this mode, it's... Uh, 1080p at 120 hertz. However, I can't do that because I use a capture card, and my capture card, um, I don't believe allows me to do this. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure on that, but anyways, YouTube does 60 frames, so it's not like it's any, uh, consolation to all of you. But, I'm also playing with, uh, HDR on as well. Uh, we're gonna turn down the motion blur intensity because I don't like motion blur in video games. Um, but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Again, this is going to be a very, very, very thorough playthrough. Every single section that we go to, we are going to take a look at. 
We're gonna go slow. We're gonna enjoy the experience and just have fun. So that being said, let's start up a new game. So this is where, this is where I need your guys' help. So obviously you've already seen my crushing walkthrough. I, I did a crushing walkthrough on this. So we're obviously we can't do crushing. Um, it's it's kind of weird to me because I did a crushing walkthrough, but I don't. I thought you could select it from the beginning, but it looks like maybe you you can't select this from the beginning in this version. I don't know. Um, since we're doing a let's play, you know, I'm kind of like, what do I want to do? Uh, and for the fairness of the challenge that I like to provide myself, I don't want to die a billion times for you guys on this let's play because I want you to enjoy the game without getting too frustrated. But at the same time, I want a challenge. So we're going to do this let's play on hard. I think that is a good medium balance between the difficultiness of crushing and the too easiness of moderate light or explorer. So we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit, have a little fun. We're going to be as stealthy as we can in certain moments, um, but know that this is played live. So therefore... I haven't perfected everything like I did in my walkthrough where we stealth through all of the hard sections. So keep that in mind. Um, there are going to be some st sections we fail at stealth. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast, but let's go. I'm ready. I hope you guys are. I know I've wasted a lot of time here, but again, this is thorough and I want this to be a enjoyable let's play type of experience. I don't plan on talking during any of the cutscenes. Uh, that's all going to stay the same. Um, I do remember there being some uh, copyright problems uh, for this game. However, I'm not going to turn anything down. I'm just going to ask if you want to support the channel and you want to keep it to where we don't have to worry about copyright, think about clicking that join button, become a member, uh, do a super chat, or you can use the link in the description to uh, donate so that we can continue to play these games and not worry about copyright because obviously with copyright, creators get nothing because of this and almost every game gets copyrighted nowadays even if it's the in-game music I i'm not kidding you it's almost every single game that we play gets copyrighted in some way so if you want to support the channel become a member a patreon whatever it's the choice is always yours if you can't do that this at least leave a like make sure you leave a like it really helps the channel comment share all that glorious stuff so without further ado it is go time Green team coming in strong. Get some. It's go time. Hey, bud, how you doing? Thank you for uh, for being a member for a year already, man. Wow, time has passed. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. Henry Avery, 1694. Big bone! Yeah. 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 
Okay! Okay! Check the engines out! What? I can... I can fix it! Just... just cover me! God damn it! Come on! Come on! Okay, I gotta use I gotta get used to the uh, the dual shot controller because it's so much different when aiming and stuff. See how quickly you can still die on hard mode. Oh. Why does everything in this game? Whoa, go! Oh my god, oh yeah, I totally can't see. Get them off of us! Do the best I can here! That's that HDR, man. Nathan, hurry! Just hang on! You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. It doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. Really makes you think, you know, I really wish that this Tom Welling movie, or not Tom Welling, <laughs> I love, I love Tom Welling, uh, that's the, um, the new Uncharted movie. I just wish it was a, I don't know. I mean, Tom is going to be a great early young uh, Nathan Drake, but I don't know. I just I, I can't see him, you know, being in his 30s and having that same Nathan Drake like uh, Nathan Fillion would be able to do, you know? So I, I, I'm going to see the Uncharted movie and hopefully it's going to be as good as we all want it to be. But I'm just going to go in thinking, you know, it's not going to be exactly the movie that I want. Go in with a little bit lower of expectations and just try to enjoy an action, you know, adventure type of movie. But uh, it is kind of sad because I, I, re I really wanted Nathan Fillion. It doesn't look like there's any collectibles in here. I'm going to be searching every single room, every single encounter, every single thing that you that we get to see in the game. So at least that's the goal. Yeah, you can actually see him over there. If you look close enough. Now, I don't know if going into photo mode, you can... Uh, no, you can only orbit around your character, as you can see. Uh, you can't go, like... You can't go too far out. But it would have been really cool if you'd been able to go, like, all the way 
over there and uh, see him. So this, again, is the 4K upscaled from 1440, 60 frames per second mode. So we'll do a little bit of this, and then at some point we'll switch again over to Fidelity. So you guys can see how it, see if it changes at all. Obviously, frame rate's going to be really the only thing. And maybe just a, a few better textures. But probably not too much. Now, I want you to keep in mind that I'm probably going to be playing this on PC as well when it comes out. But I might be doing another walkthrough for the game on PC. Up and around we go. Whoa! Too slippery. A lot of people, I, I think they enjoyed this first section. But if I remember, a lot of people didn't want to have to replay it because it's... A very, very slow kind of intro, and if you want to play the game multiple times, you could probably get, you know, you don't want to do it. Can't go this way. I love the flashback scenes, especially in Uncharted 3. I thought it was great as well. Hold on, I just want to do this because it's fun. <laughs> no rhyme or reason to it, just wanted to slide down, that's all. Gotta get used to spamming that A button because... In order to jump in some certain instances, you have to use the A button, so... Or A, I'm sorry, X. <laughs> Sometimes I forget which uh, console I'm playing. Let's just take a moment to look at the environment. You're going to see this a lot where I'm going to stop and just kind of admire what the developers at Naughty Dog have done. Doesn't matter what you think of their Last of Us 2 story or whatever, Naughty Dog is still an amazing developer with uh, with just an amazing team that just loves games and loves to show off what they can do. Sony is so lucky to have uh, developers such as uh, Naughty Dog and Sony Santa Monica and all them. Okay, nice and quiet. Alright, so we don't have the ability to crouch yet. I don't know if there's any collectibles in this. I think, if if I'm not mistaken, you can go here. It says there's no treasures yet. I, I actually, for some reason, I'm thinking that there isn't any treasures in this uh, first chapter. I could be wrong. But it's like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so... Isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I'm neglecting the other dozen boys under my care. <sighs> what do you want me to do? You know my opinion. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. <sighs> Look, I'll talk to him in the Oh, morning. hello. Okay. <laughs> Be funny if you failed the first encounter. Good night, Sister Catherine. They, uh, listen, when you play p games on PC, they don't upgrade the graphics. You just get the option of playing the game on whatever your PC can handle. There's a big difference. There's no such thing as the PC version will upgrade the graphics. No, the PC version will give you the same graphics as this if that's the type of computer you have. However, if you have a Beast computer, then you're going to be able to play the game at the highest My possible file. settings. Let's take a look at our file here. Mm. Looking good, Strain. Looking good. I'm going to be reading journals. I'm going to be reading all this stuff, guys. It's going to be very, very thorough. St. Francis Boys Home. Behavioral report form. This is from the father, so I got to act it out here. All right. I caught a glimpse of Edward waving one of Nathan's books around, teasing the young boy. Nathan immediately leapt on Edward, knocking the larger boy down. I ran over to separate the boys, but not before they'd both managed to pummel each other. <sighs> Kids. Administrative signature. Father Ryan Duffy. At some point, you'll be able to turn, flip them, I think. I don't see a flip on this one, though. I know this is not where you're supposed to go, but damn it! Want to click on everything? All right, so we'll click L three. No, that's where we're headed. Come on, 
Prove it, sister. Oh, I got caught! <laughs> you are in You are a bad boy, Nathan. I guess it's good then. I guess it's good because I never saw that before. I didn't know she was gonna turn around so fast, that sneaky little lady. Why is she looking back? I mean, isn't that obviously... Oh, maybe she's looking back because she's smoking. Sneaky little lady. Sister Catherine? I totally forgot that she did a quick turnaround right there. Okay. I've forgotten my keys again. Can you open the gate for me? Coming, father. What a mean lady. So someone's asking, how comes I don't stream with a webcam? Well, I always, especially during uh, story-driven games, I prefer, I'm, I'm the type of person that prefers to allow the game to shine. I know a lot of people watch, say, myself because of the personality or, or they like me. They don't really care what game I play, and, and that's great. But I want the game to shine, right? I want the game to be the one out there that people look at I want to show it off in every light that I can and if my whole body is taking up a small portion of the of the video then I really feel that I'm not doing the game justice you know everyone's different you know there's streamers out there that prefer to have themselves shown and that's fine but for me I just prefer if it's a story game I want the story to be up front and center that is how I always that's how I've always been because I come from a walkthrough type of background so I don't see that changing. Uh, possibly uh, I'll do more webcams when we do more, like say multiplayer games and stuff, but, or maybe RPGs or something, but like games like this, I don't know. I just, Sam. I feel, I feel like I don't want to, uh, I don't want my mug taking up the screen to show off this beautiful game. Watch your back. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because... Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you. All right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Here. You'll catch cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you. And I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. Man, this game still looks so amazing. I can't believe this. This is the first of those big PlayStation hits that started coming out for the PlayStation 4, right? You had uh, Uncharted 4 came out in 2016, and then you had uh, Horizon came out in, what, 2017? God of War in 2018, Spider-Man in 2018. I mean, wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to save it right here, and I'm going to switch to Fidelity mode. We're not going to do this, you know... All the time. I'm just going to do this maybe once or twice throughout the entire playthrough just so you guys can see somewhat of a difference if you guys can see it at all. I know my eyes are going to start to hurt here because whenever I go from 60 to 30, it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy. All right, so here we are. We're in fidelity mode now. And let's see the difference. First of all, wow. You can already see how slow the frames are. You're probably not going to see it on your you know, phone or whatever you're seeing it on. But on my big screen TV that I'm playing this on, it's so noticeable that we're in 30 frames. Uh, 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 Shit, right. This is just feeding you enough. Uh, <laughs> that place is kind of empty. Where is everyone? Some Bible retreat. Yeesh. I remember those. So, yeah, um... Some people are asking, are we going to be doing the whole game? Yes, we're going to be doing the whole game. Is the whole game going to happen on this one stream? Probably not. Uh, it's probably going to take two or maybe three parts, depending on, um, you know, 
how long it we're gonna be exploring everything meaning that we're gonna take our time so i think you can finish this game in probably 12 hours if you're just playing normally so it could take up to 14 to 16 hours for us just because we're going to be really really just taking a look at every little encounter and trying to enjoy as much uh of the scenery as we can well, let me know if you guys see a difference here in the 4k fidelity mode than what was just shown previously he's the one decent guy in there you should come and say hi nah i don't need the guilt <sighs> Yeah, I'm playing this on my um, OLED. What is it? The C1, the the newest OLED that I got last year. This way. It allows me to actually. I use this as my monitor as well because it allows me to play uh, games on PC in 4K at 120 hertz because I have a 3090. So that was easy. It's one of the great things about console is that I can literally stream this game in 4K where unfortunately even though I have a beast computer I can't stream in 4K with the beast computer because I can't play in 4K and stream in 4K. I'd have to use my second computer to do that. Yeah, a lot of people are not going to be able to tell the difference, especially on YouTube. Although you can easily see it if you're playing it. Damn. You didn't prop it. I did. At least I thought I did. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high road. The high road? Just follow me. Watch this. Whoa. And now, we take the high road. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. Yeah, so your uh, fidelity mode's just supposed to be true 4K picture. Uh, I don't know if any textures get upgraded or anything like that, but uh, honestly, it's not that big of a difference. I'm going to keep it on performance. Obviously, if you want an even smoother one, you could switch to performance plus, but that changes it to 1080. And so you will definitely see more jagged lines and, and the, the picture won't be as crisp, but you'll have 120 frames per second, which is <laughs> quite a lot. But see, I didn't really see a different before? change here, but look at uh, so much twice. smoother. Like when you're rotating the camera around, it's faster. Your turn. Your controls are faster, and that's a big thing as well. Yeah, it was really tough to get a 3090, but we were able to do it. So, what you been up to? Working mostly. Are you still dating that girl? Oh, uh, Crystal? Uh, on again, off again. Currently, off again. One thing I loved about this game was you're you really do control where uh, Nathan looks. So if you have like something below you, you know he'll put his hand in the direction of that, or he'll put his hand in the direction of that. It's really cool. It makes it feel. The climbing makes it feel like really uh, intuitive. Now remember, these videos are going to get copyrighted because of the music, so if you do want to support the channel, think about doing a super chat or becoming a member. And uh, uh, obviously, you know, you'll get like a special icon. I want to get some more emblems and stuff like that to show uh, people that are members and stuff and try to really make it special. For those that support the channel. This is what we do full time. I'm just now getting uh, medically retired on, whoa, whoa. from the Stop US Army. Me. You got this. So, you know, typhus or life is gonna be a little tough uh, soon, and this is the job that we do, so uh, if you wanna support <laughs> help us stay afloat, really appreciate it. <sighs> See? No big deal. Yeah. Nothing to it. Thanks for the 100 likes already, everybody. This is the first in our series of Let's Plays that we're going to start doing for this year. Um, doesn't mean I'm not going to be doing walkthroughs, but we're going to be taking things a little differently this year than we've been doing in the past. We're going to be moving along with the times. You're going to see more Let's Plays, but you're still going to see walkthroughs. But the walkthroughs are going to be for games that actually kind of deserve a walkthrough as opposed to like big RPGs that are too open world. Those are not walkthrough type games. Walkthrough games will be the shorter games. Yeah. 
Hopefully. that uh, will stand out a little bit better. Whereas uh, this type yeah. of game, you could do a walkthrough for this type of game, I honestly feel, but uh, this feels like a, a, a game that just really feels so much better utilized in a, okay. in a Let's Play format. Man, I swear it, it really is like playing a different game. So, okay, look at this right here. All right, we can jump over here. What was the reason for this? The Naughty, Do Naughty Dog put this in for a specific reason, right? Let me explain. So this area is down here. There's no reason to go to it. Only those of us that want to explore every nook and cranny would there ever be a reason for them to create this down here? Now, they would know that some of us that are looking for collectibles and all that kind of stuff would come down here. So they have to create a way for us to get back up. So they did. If you look on the other side, there's there's no, none of these boards are over here. So they knew people would come down here to see if there was a collectible. So they had to have a way to get back up. They were literally preparing everyone for everything because they know just how thorough some gamers are. down the middle. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Doing well, George. Hopefully you're doing well. Remember, there is a little bit of a delay between what I see and uh, the chat. Is that a I think that's a sin. Reason being is because I'm streaming this in 4K. You go. So there has to be a big delay because this is being streamed at a very high bit rate. I don't see anything. Like I said, I don't think there's any collectibles in this chapter. It's just kind of teaching you the ropes. You ready, Tarzan? Look at him. Look at that detail. Look at this. He literally turns to you. That was one of the coolest things in this game was the the the, the rope effects, right? Just stuff that we've never seen in video games before and really you haven't seen it that much even in, in games today i love how you can go to either side and he will just turn i i don't know why that amazes yeah. me but it does right, go ahead and one thing about this game too is you'll actually see the ai characters do the same thing And once you turn your head, they'll kind of zip ahead a little bit. But if you're looking at them, they will still do the animations of everything you see. Up the steeple. Come on. I can't jump that high. All right, just go around the corner. Oh, the detail on everything he's climbing is so awesome. It's a nice view, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's Naughty Dog. But uh, I remember the rope so much more in Uncharted 4 than I do in Last of Us. This particular roof? No. But you do know where you're going, right? Eh, more or less. I don't think you... Yeah, yeah, it's broken that way. I think you have to go left. Oh, I'm just so happy to be playing this game again. And I'm glad you guys are here with the journey with me. I just remember doing those stealth sections and how many hours it took to get those achievements. Or should I say trophies. Man, it was such a challenge. I will try to do the st stealthy parts, but I can't promise I'll make it because it's a live stream, so... Alright, here we go. Drop. I did it. Of course you did. Is the game loud enough for everybody? 
I want my voice to be heard, but I don't want uh, I don't want you guys to not be able to hear the game. It's just the small details in these worlds. I don't remember what options you have. This is a very basic photo mode. You've got a field of view. You've got a depth of field. Uh, let's see, filter. Like, I think the pinnacle of photo mode is in um, Ghost of Shishima. We do frames. I guess you can make your own thumbnails out of this. Like, I think a cool photo mode would be allowing you to, like, put some type of text on and make your own thumbnails via uh, this. I think that would be really cool if they would have added that, but I don't think so. You know what? How about you take this one? Yeah, so I've done, only done crushing on the Nathan Drake collection. Maybe sometime in the future I'd love to do a brutal version of it. Really? Yeah, really. I'll follow your lead. Attaboy, Nathan. Okay. I mean, look at him. He does it, too, if you actually okay. turn around and look around. They didn't have to do that, you know? They could have waited until you looked straight ahead <coughs> and then had him magically be, like, right there, you know? All right. After you. Just like that, we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500cc twin. No way. Yeah. Where'd you lift it from? Whoa. That's a low blow. But hey, I'll have you know that I am a changed man. Bought this with hard-earned cash. Here, come on. Take a seat. What? The only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something. You are too smart for your own good, you know that? All right. I got this job. Pays well. Really well. But, uh, I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like, uh, a year. At the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Hey, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, couple when you're out... years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Hey, nothing about our lives has been fair. But we've made it work, right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Uh -huh. I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? Eh, it's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't going to see it that way. Right, well, then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Esto va a estar más fácil de lo que esperaba, eh? You're gonna have to do better than that, pal. 
Acabemos con esto. Let's go. All right, here we go. I love how young he looks. What a piece of this, huh? Huh? It's pretty much teaching you everything right now. There's no way to like dodge these hits, so. Come on, amigo. Te voy a matar, come mierda. Te voy a cerrar la bocota, gringo. Get for me. Ya basta. Get idiota. Suéltame. We weren't fighting. Huh? Right, little guy? Voy a matar, gringo, come mierda. Hey, give me a call when you're tall enough to ride the rides. Te voy a sacar tiras por el culo. Solitaria. Cállalo. Te voy a estar esperando aquí, eh. Abre. Come on. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? Where's the toilet? You looking at it. Have fun. I will. Gracias. Or big or uh, uh, snake. Try to remember the basics of CQC. <laughs> I was having a great dream too. Hey, hey, hey! All right, easy. Ah. All right, calmate. Yes, there is uh, there is haptic feedback and um, 3D uh, spatial audio. Let me go to the audio here. I only get the because you got a bunch of different uh, options here. Wide, maximum. I'm just gonna stick with the uh, that one. Device type, I guess, only just goes off of what you're doing. I don't have headphones in right now, so. But uh, yeah. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. I know that that is probably not going to keep it from getting copyrighted, but um, I'm just going to keep the music down just a little bit. And even you can even do the cinematic music, which is probably the, the, the portion of the music that will get copyrighted the most. Um, but yeah, the controls, let me show you the, uh, the haptic feedback is amazing so far. You, and when you were aiming at the beginning, you really felt like it was tough to aim. Like you had to press it, you know, you had, you had that like kind of little stop and then you had to put a little force into it. I know there's um, treasures in this chapter, so we'll try to pick them up. Morning, boys. Or is it the evening? It's hard to tell down here. Oye, idiota. Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran la reja. See how he goes up every individual stair? Do you know how hard it is to... Look at this. Every stair, he hits it perfectly. Hey, nice to see you. That is... Most games don't do that. Most games just have you kind of glide up the stairs. As long as you're not looking down, you can't tell that you're gliding. It's, it's just amazing the detail that these developers... And they're just one of many. There's other developers that do it too. But not every developer does that. 
You can literally see him go up every single stair. That is so hard to do. It's the smallest things that you never think about because you go upstairs every day in real life. But implementing into a video game is is not as easy as you think. You just have to sit back and respect what the developers can pull off. You don't have to like publishers because they want money. But developers, they they make they do what they do because they love the craft. They love making games. Go. Abre la reja. ¿A dónde lo llevas? Es una sorpresa. Diviértete. Do speak a little Spanish, you know. <laughs> Wait, what what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te lo advertí, pero no escuchaste. Gosh, look at the detail in this. Nada, amigo. Not for us. De este me encargo yo. Bien. Yeah, you don't really get strikes on YouTube anymore. It's mostly just co uh, copyright claims. So you have a less of a chance of having your channel be um, taken down because companies realize that they can get money off of you. If they take you down, then they can't get money off of you. No, no. Oh, all right. After you. Yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. Hey, you know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go left. Look at that detail in his face. I always loved what they did with the hair in these games. Hair looks realistic. A lot of developers go with the shiny hair and it doesn't look realistic where... Here it does. It flows, you know. Yeah, this only cost $10 to get this upgrade because, you know, we already had previous game. Unfortunately, I don't have a contact with Sony, so I can't get these games. I want in. From the developers. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> now, come on, Marcus. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? I'm sticking my neck out for you, gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? But not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here, and not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. The, the guns way. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh -huh, uh huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. <laughs> Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place. In search of a metaphor. I want in. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, we can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you going to get up there, anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it, since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that they decided to uh, to release the PS5 version first. Under the work table by the crates. Great. Because they wanted people to buy the PlayStation version as opposed to the PC version. So, as as before, you know, like with Horizon Zero Dawn and all of them, you know, uh, this is the first one that they're actually doing a remastered version on PS5. Before, they just did updates that made the games in 60 frames, like Days Gone and Horizon. But they didn't do that for Uncharted. They wanted to release a separate PS5 version because Naughty Dog is their flagship. They even did it for God of War. They just did an upgrade where you can play it in 60. So, I know there's no ray tracing in here, but let's take a look at some of the detail there. So, see all the wood broken? Let's see if we see that up here. We do. See? Although it looks like some of it's just floating. I don't see how that right there makes sense. There's like, there's spots that are just literally floating. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know. I do love the reflections and stuff that they do in this. It's pretty cool. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be exploring a lot. Let's see if I can remember where these collectibles are. Don't be alarmed if you see me looking around everywhere like an idiot. Just down here first. You know, this has got to be one of those games where you really feel like your feet are on the ground. Like, everyone knows, guys, and this is, this is, if, if you know anything about game development, then you know that your character is not really touching ground. There's no such thing as ground, right? There's no such thing as it. So when you see a character's on the ground, on the ground, it's programmed that they're barely slightly hovering above the ground. But in this game, I always felt like it really does feel... Like, you yourself are actually on the ground. Like, they did a really good job of just blending everything in. I know it's like, the, like I said, the small things really go to make this entire world and game believable. There we go, piece of cake. All right. Pick up our gear. Bingo. Now we're in business. All right, this should do the trick. And you just gotta kind of take a look at the environment here. I mean, look at this vista shot right here. Sometimes I just like to stop and smell the roses. And there's the prison cell. How do I get up there? All right. Obviously, this is going to be a jump off. Yep. I definitely don't think this game is the worst in the series. I actually really enjoy the story. I wish they had Chloe in it, though. But they waited for Chloe because they put her in the uh, the DLC afterwards, or the expansion, whatever you want to call it. Does make you wonder why they put that there? I don't think it's anything that we can need to do. One thing, one thing they improved on so much was the parkour and climbing. It just feels so realistic, even though it's so unrealistic because no one has that much upper body strength. To do the amount of climbing that Nate's going to be doing, so. Alright, so it looks like we've got a slide, slide down. down there. Look on that post, probably. 
So when he reaches his arm out, that's when you know you can jump. <laughs> Wait till Sam hears about this. If you do it too early, I, I, I think you'll miss the jump. <sighs> Onward and upward. JT, thank you so much for the donation, my friend. Again, you're helping the channel out. This is what we do for a living, everybody. I am now officially uh, medically retired after 20 years in the military, but uh, I don't get any money, so I don't get any of that until I'm about 60, which is a long time from now. So this is what we do for a living to support the family. Um, so thank you so much for that uh, donation, JT. We just kind of look on. Man, look what they did with the water. The water looks so realistic from this angle. so good I'm gonna do my best to stop at these parts and really just take a look at the environment guys if you want a fast playthrough there's gonna be so many people out there if you watch the big walkthrough channels they they don't do walkthroughs they don't know what a walkthrough is they do let's plays but uh, they rush through the games this is not what this channel is this this channel when we do let's plays we do let's plays we slow down we smell the roses, and we enjoy every nook and cranny that this game, or a game that we're playing, has to offer. Well, I've got to find the highest cell. Now, you can see that there used to be a thing that you would be able to climb over there, but from the looks of it, I don't think you can climb that anymore. You can get here. Can you go over there? Oh, nice. Oh, you actually can. Okay, cool. I'm just uh, going different paths here because we want to take a look at... I there were dozens of pirates holed up in here just waiting to be hanged. Okay. Where to? Got to find a way up. All right, so clearly you would grab a hold of that, but before we do that, let's drop down. Again, I don't know where I'm going to try to do my best. If I do miss some collectibles, I do apologize. But I will try to find... Oh, we found our first one, ladies and gentlemen. First treasure. Wow, whoa, we actually get a... Hold on. We get... I thought that um, if you've already beat... The game on PlayStation 4, you can't unlock trophies again. Oh, I think I know what it does. If you take your PS4 saves, right, and then you put them into this game, you'll automatically auto-lock every trophy. So it's essentially you get them for free for doing them already in the original version of it. My dearest son, Richard, Spanish devils have me in chains in the vice reality of Panama. I stand accused of being party to privacy. The trial is a mere formality. I shall imminently perish by hanging. I confess to you now. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. With my fellow crew members, I took part in the plunder of the Hindu Gunsway. We committed many atrocities in the eyes of God, and now I must pay for my sins. I now occupy the highest cell in the Spaniard's prison. Looking out at the ocean, longing for another peaceful moment with you and your mother. Though my regrets are many, know that I am at peace with my fate. 
I hope someday you will find your way to this inferno place. Bear my cross. Discover the riches of paradise. Your loving father, Joseph Burns. Pranav. Hopefully I said that right. You deserve more subscribers, bro. Keep going. Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Thank you. I'll do my best, like I said, to uh, kind of let the story shine through uh, some of the voice acting that I'll do and, and really uh, all the exploring. So... Cool. All right. Now we have another letter here. Yeesh. I thought the modern prison was bad. September 18th, 1696. I hanged the first of Captain Avery's crew this afternoon in full view of their cohorts. A gratuitous act, perhaps, but one that stokes the fear in their hearts for what follows. A visit to the remaining men in the tower. The sorry pirates threw themselves at my feet, begging for mercy. One day I hope to hear such pleas from their elusive captain. September 20, 1696. As I hanged the rest of the pirates this morning, one soul was bold enough to offer a bribe as the hood was placed round his head. More vague promises of vast treasure. I asked him where this hoard could be found and then dropped him as he answered. I have no patience for pirates' falsehoods. It looks like that's it. Alright, so we picked up the collectible. Let's see the treasure. It's a knife. You can zoom in on it. Very detailed. I see no jagged edges or anything. I mean, this is straight up quality right here. The reflections off of it. Alright. We found our first one. Now I just gotta locate the next one. I can barely believe this place is still standing. Spain sure knew how to build a sturdy prison. I wonder how many pirates died here. Alright, not gonna lie. This is pretty awesome. Man, look at that. Wow. I am excited for the movie, but I'm not going to get my hopes up just because even though I know Tom is going to do a great job, he does a great job and everything. I just don't feel that he makes the perfect Nathan Drake. Not the older version of Nathan Drake, should I say. Obviously, he would make a great young version of Nathan Drake, but... I don't know. I just feel like they really missed the opportunity of getting Nathan oh, Fillion. Man, Sam is missing out. Who, to me, is like the ultimate Nathan Drake. But it is what it is, guys, and we just, we you know... Burns his cell. Let's wait till the movie comes out, and then we'll make our... Cell? More like a suite. Okay. Where to begin? All these squiggles and scratches must mean something. Sun and moon. Alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. I missed one? Oh my god, you're right! Did I- Oh! Go, I gotta go back! Please tell me to- That was at 12.04. What time is it now? 12.05. Oh no! Did I miss it? Oh! Uh, more like a suite. I can't go back, can I? Okay. Oh! Where to begin? Which well? I didn't... I don't remember... Oh, was there a well in that room? Oh my god. Now I'm oh, gonna really piss myself off. Must mean something. Jeez. Sun and moon. I can't go that back, can I? For gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. All right, let's take a look at the note. Well, that's part of the symbol. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I think we can go back. I think we can go back. We'll, we'll figure it out. Ah, there's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. 
and the Scorpio sign. Where I grab the rope. Oh, I hope I can go back. We'll see. Um, all right, so what do we got here? Uh, that symbol and that symbol. So rem remember those symbols. And let's take a look. All right. There's one, so there's two. And there's the other one. There's ten. So two and ten equals twelve. And there's twelve. Ten and two. X and I, I. Oh, from the place where I got the rope? Oh, yeah, we, we'll be able to get that then. Because we can go, we're going to be going back, so that's okay. We can get it. I, th I think, hopefully. This is it. Right. Time to head back. He would make Nathan Filler would make a good older Drake. And if you've seen his little short film he did, he did a great job. Gotta watch that first step. Down we go. Huh. Now what? Oh man, Sam is missing out. You don't think we can get that treasure in the well again? I mean, we'd have to start all over to get it. It's right there in that well. How did I not see that? Man. Oh my god, okay, this is... We're gonna try something here. So there's a well right there. That we totally didn't even look down. And I feel like an there's idiot. Marcus. I want a gut. <laughs> I want in. So, I think this is too much of a drop to kill us, but I don't see why this wouldn't be... I'm gonna try this one first. Okay, so that didn't work. Let me try something else. Let me try this. Can we... Ah. No, he won't grab it. Are you telling me I really can't go back? Why can't I grab this? Why, I, obviously, it's only one that you can grab during... Man of Steel, thank you. 20 months. Enjoy retirement, unfortunately. And, and retirement would be awesome, but... Um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys make the decision. We can get through this super quick. You know what? Hold on. I don't want to miss a freaking collectible. I know we're probably going to miss collectibles, but I don't want to miss a collectible. I don't want to miss a collectible as easy as that. We're going to go back and get it. We're just going to, we're going to go through it super fast, okay? I know we got to do all this again. <laughs> But we're just going to go through it as quickly as we can. You're going to have to do it better than that, pal. Let's go. 
Chingada, este gringo sabe pelear, ¿eh? No puedo. Dale a la cara. A ver cómo te sales de esta cara. ¿Qué tal esto? Asshole, let go of me. Dale el menú. We just got these scripted parts we gotta get through, but other than that, it shouldn't take too long. I got you now. Come on. <laughs> All right, we can skip cinematics. No way we can get to it. If you want to watch these, of course, just, you know, rewind back. Hey, uh, any chance I can take a shower? Thank you so much, man, for the uh, four months. Or is it the evening? It's hard Devin? to tell down here. Get off the stairs. Yeah, there's, I think, a, a trophy for completing this game in under six hours. Hey, nice to see you. Humid. Ah, welcome to Panama. Hey, gringo. Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un Sometimes when you're trying to be as thorough as possible, you end up missing something that's so obvious. Déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. Tranquilízate. Looks like you have some fans. Yeah, my adoring public. Oh yeah, PS5 version just makes everything so smooth. Abre la reja. ¿A dónde lo llevas? <laughs> es una sorpresa. <laughs> <laughs> Diviértete. I do speak a little Spanish, you know. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Te lo advertí. Que no escuchaste. Yeah, what I'll remember to do is save checkpoints in different areas where I feel there could be some collectibles so we can go back to that specific checkpoint. Yeah, I need to uh I need to spread the love of um of my Patreon more. Patreon is the best way to support because the the most amount of see you have to go this way first, then he'll do that. <laughs> uh, because uh, you know YouTube gets takes a cut, whereas Patreon pretty much we almost get everything that uh, uh, that comes to us yeah, from people. This isn't so sketchy at all. Hey, you know this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go lab. Yeah, I'm on it. there through here <laughs> gotta wait for the cinema I guess to show like now we're in cinema yeah all right now we can get it pretty easy I think up? actually yeah it already unlocked the other one so we just need to get the one Fast. yeah hit it just over there under the work table uh, by the crate <laughs> Yeah, we leave no stone unturned if we get it in time. There's, I'm probably not going to get every collectible, guys. Just, just for mainly for the fact that there's got to be some that are so well placed that I'm that we're all going to miss. All right, this one is the cat pendant. Bingo. Now we're in business.
I'm surprised no one told me about that. Uh, there's the prison cell. How do I get up there? Here we go. When it when it came, did someone say anything about it when it actually came time to say it? I don't really remember. There's such there's like a 20 second delay because I'm streaming in 4K, so Till Sam hears about this. <sighs> Onward and upward. Now, now I'll show you the other route now. Because you can do this route too. These burns had a nice view before he was executed. Dozens of pirates hold up in here just So the first one was right there okay. as you can see it's gone Where to? But we'll make sure we pick up this because these get added to your journals and stuff so make sure we don't miss out on I thought the modern from these All right I can barely believe this place is still standing Spanish sure knew how to build a sturdy prison Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. <clears throat> oh man, Sam is missing out. Here we go. Burns his cell. Cell? More like a suite. Okay. I think you gotta do this first. Where to begin? Sun and moon. Alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a sec. I saw something like this on the letter. Huh. Well, that's part of the symbol. Ah. There's the other half. Now then. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius and the Scorpio sign. Ten and two. X and up. Alright. Now we won't skip any more from here, so we should be good to go. See, I didn't take very long, so I do apologize for that. We want to be as thorough as possible, so if you guys know of any collectibles coming up, let me know ahead of time and make sure that I, I see because of the delay. Down we go. All right, we're back. There's Vargas. I want a cut. <laughs> I want in. I'll give you in. <laughs> oh, crap. No, 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 no. Whoa! <laughs> Made it. I want that cut. I want in. I love, I love his voice acting so much. Now we're talking. All 
All right, we made it back. You made it. What'd you find? Drake? What? Place was picked clean. There's a clue hidden up there somewhere. I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Maybe I just I missed something in the letter. There could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. Are there uh, any plants at this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. All right, we got two new Patreons. So I want to thank uh, Drooling, Cuts, and uh, Bran. Thank you so much. Of course, I know who you are. Are you done talking to him? Come and find me. You got it. Thank you guys for coming to the newest Patreons. Bingo. If I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. So, nice acting, Braggers. Almost as good as mine. Que puedo decir, eh? Suerte de principiante, ¿verdad? Hijo de puta. Lo siento, chicos. Tengo que irme. Claro, te vas cuando estás ganando. Para ti, eh? Jesus, they worked you off. Okay, you all right? Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end. How long have we been trying to get in here? <sighs> we had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay, not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about I this... Know. I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just let's get on to more important matters. All right, let's find somewhere a little more uh, private. Yeah. I'll turn this game sound up because they are speaking pretty low. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so what do we got? <sighs> oh shit! Huh? Hey, may I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. <laughs> Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Uh, Digna factus recipimus. We receive. We receive. We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. That's the benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's Saint Dismas, yeah. a penitent thief. What's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion. Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. Okay? He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Yeah, let me go ahead and explain that. Um, I was going to do a giveaway for the members for the Rainbow Six Extraction PC code that I got. I got a few extra codes. However, they were only trial codes. Unfortunately, Ubisoft, what they sent was codes that only lasted for so many days. So there's actually like zero point, uh, unfortunately. I wish it was a real code, but it's not, so I can't do that, and I do apologize. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas 
in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I have my doubts about you, too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shithole. Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Ah, uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales! Hey, you know why? Tú no te metas. Okay. Did you have to pick on the most popular guy in this joint? Uh, I didn't hear you volunteer. Guys, save it for later. What you got, asshole? How you doing, little brother? I'm good. I'm good for now. I don't know how many twins am I seeing doing this right now. Damn! Some help here! Get off! Basta de hablar. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. ¿Qué es esto? ¿Eh? Dame. Are you bringing in contraband? Fergus, cállate. Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. I wish they would have added like a counter or something. There's no way to counter. You just roll to get out of the way, and then you punch, and then when they grab you, you just hit uh, triangle. I mean, that's really the only thing you can do. Dejanos. Dejanos. Too long enough. We almost got killed, you know. You still might. Vargas. Seriously. Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Well, how can I say it? All right, I, I know I got to pause, but I just find that so funny when he said must be in a different tower. They're obviously doing a uh, a thing for Nintendo right there. You know, the princess must be in a different tower, and I just always, I just wanted to note that. I just think it's so hilarious. I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 look. It's worthless, all right? You think I'm an idiot? Okay, you want to renegotiate? Fine, stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. <laughs> Thank you. We're willing to give you, uh... 10%. <laughs> Think half. We're doing most of the work, 20, and you'd never find it without us. 25 equals. 25. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, 400 million divides nicely by four. 
Looks like we have a deal. Yes, we have a deal. And if you ever cross me again... <laughs> Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You want to find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on. Come on! God damn it. Rafe, where are we going here? The lighthouse. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. But which way? I don't know. We'll get outside and figure it out. Shit! Get in! Uh, the window! Nathan, give me a Hurry hand! Up. There, it's over! You got it! Then go! Come on! I don't see the lighthouse! Right now, let's just get away from the guards. Down this way! Through here! Oh, crap! This way. Uh, uh, no, 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 wait. Over here, come on, come on! Damn it! It's locked! Guys, we can climb this! Shit! Another dead Come on, Sam! Ready? And... Let's go! Yeah, after you. My god, yeah, they... Sure? Yeah. Come on, come on. They kill you even when you can't control. <laughs> What the heck was that? Unfortunately, this game really just... You just gotta spam uh, square, that's it. Just spam square. And then when they grab you, triangle, that's it. I wish there was more to it. I thought you trusted him. I do. What point? There's a vent here. Help me push. Unfortunately, that's all really the melee is in this game. I thought it was way better in, in Uncharted 3. He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? Not if we're quick. Come on! After you! See, that's how you know your brother loves you. He lets you go first. Whereas Rafe tried to be the first They're one. everywhere. Just keep going. Okay, looks clear. God damn it, this place is like a maze. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to leave or something. After this, oh, stay shit. out of prison Guard. for a while, huh? Hold on, amigo! Right! Good to see it! Kick down that ladder for us! We're close. There's the lighthouse. Like I said, stick to the plane. Yeah, don't celebrate yet. That's right. Let's keep searching for that. Find us. There it is. Come on! And don't drop the cross. On me! Get to the wall! Now! Sam! Just keep going! Go! I got it. Sam! Come on! I'll pull you up! I got you! Come on! Sam! No! No, you hold on! Hold on! Sam! Give me your other arm! Come on, Reed! No! Sam! We gotta move. Oh, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No. No, I can't. I can't. Can't leave him behind. Nate! Your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way.
I can understand why they did this because obviously you already know Sam's okay, alive. But this would explain why okay. Sam's never mentioned. Okay. Okay. okay, gotta get out of here. Throughout the rest of the series. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, keep coming, right? Okay. Yes, so I have to mute this because if I remember, this got copyrighted. So I'm going to mute this music right here. I mean, there's nothing else going on, just the music. But this is like the first thing that's going to get copyrighted in this game right here. I remember that. But what an intro and opening, right? Well, you're in for a surprise then, Nick. <laughs> hey, Lucas, what's going on, bud? So like, yeah, let's, let, let me explain. So you already know that Sam's alive because you're literally with him in the very beginning of the game. You're on a boat with him, escaping. So, and you know that that's the future. Nathan looks a lot older. Clearly you can tell that's the future. Here, you can tell Nathan looks very, very young, so it already, you already know he's alive. But it was very important to do this because you needed to know why Nathan never mentions his brother during the entirety of the series before Uncharted 4. And this is why it makes so much sense. So it's just like, it kind of gives you that little backstory as to why he never mentioned him. Yeah, this music is copyrighted, man. It's just, it's crazy. Today on YouTube, everything you do is copyrighted nowadays. Music-wise, even just regular music in video games, like soundtrack. All right. Made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Can you sign up our hall? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. All right. I'm going to be searching a lot here. I know there's some collectibles down here. I don't remember exactly where. Hey, um, I might watch you down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, I'll be fine. Can't be I really wrong. enjoyed this part, too, because it's so cool. It. I'll find it. All right. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to take our time and look, because I have no idea where the treasure I don't remember exactly where the treasure is. Oh yeah, I love the Chronicles of Riddick. I've got, I've got a walk through. Oh, right there. I think. Yeah. Antique padlock. Where do you insert the key then? I don't know if there is another one down here, though. You just gotta look for shiny things, really. Mainly, I just want to take my time through all of this, because I just love the look. I love being in the game. So you're saying there's three? How many collectibles are down here? I mean, I know where I'm going. Clearly there, but... Again, we're just going to be looking around here.
You gotta remember, guys, you're 20 or so seconds behind of what you see. So when you say here, I'm 20 seconds ahead of you. Just remember that. All right, so we'll move on. It doesn't look like there's another one, at least right here. Oh, there we go. Nice. There's the second. Now, we know that once we once we get one and it's outside of the order, then we should know if we've missed one or not. You beat this game on Xbox 360, Luis? I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm going to call false on that. Uh, I'm pretty confident that you did not beat this game on Xbox 360. I mean... I think most of us can be fairly confident in that. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe it hit the rocks, tore off before tumbling. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. Oh, I guess it didn't matter if you got that one or the other one. Okay. Okay, you said there's one more down here then? Well, we're in the stream now. So let's hope we find it. I don't know. Like I said, this walkthrough is going to be very slow, everybody. As we're searching everywhere. Just to enjoy the game as much as possible. Look around. Alright, there's the vehicle. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? That's uh, beat up, but intact. Just everybody have like a collectible guide up or something. That way we make sure we don't try to miss any. Okay, there's a box, but it's not a collectible. Two optional conversations are above water as well. Okay. Is there any more uh, treasures down here, though? Well, the axles are in good shape. I'd say we use them to lift the whole thing. Sounds like a plan. Found a stray crate. Ah, hell. Check inside the trailer, see how much we lost. Copy. I'll come back for this. Here. All right, I can see the cargo. It's like most of the crates up here. Well, we know nice, thanks for 200 copies. likes, everybody. Get inside, see if you can get an accurate count. Okay, I don't think it. there's another collectible. 
at least nothing is like kind of appearing to me so we'll go ahead and move on for now and go inside here there's you saying there's one treasure nearby here so there is one here I'm not seeing anything though All right, I'm just going to assume it's not here. Not right here. You guys just got to make sure you stay ahead of me. All right, here we go. <coughs> Wait, before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and save. We're going to save a lot. There. <coughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Uh, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, five. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? I already found one straggler out there. Other can't be. Ah, Jesus. Found the other crate. I must have swam right past it before. Ah, crap. The crate's pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what. Secure the other crate first. Then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right. I went back and got that crate I found earlier. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. I love how you got to constantly press to do this. All right, All right so where is the next where's the next uh, treasure? We're right above you. Slings on its way down. Got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axles. That should work. Yeah. I love this, man. It's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's one. All right, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. Two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear. We'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Okay, that enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. Okay, you're saying it's the right side hidden in grass. Really? Are you sure? I just went the entire right side. Oh, there you are. Okay, cool. Nice. Thank you so much, Renee. Remember, we want to try to find all of these or, or as many of these as we can, okay? That's why we're going to take our time. Well, we got it. Nice. So there's three treasures down here. 
Uh, I don't know if there's another one up, but we'll find out. Let me grab the crate. Okay, I got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. Ah, so beautiful. I always love this intro. Uh -huh. Oh, that look at that. Good. That is awesome, How man. You feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys? Just to be safe, again, I'll save before we make sure we hit all the conversations. They were always good so good back, with Drake. water physics. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? All right, so they're saying there is another treasure over here somewhere. Here, uh, I'm just gonna draw this. Okay. Duh. Man, I wish they move all this to computers. <laughs> hey, Government's like 10 years be? behind the rest we of the world, right? We just got this thing out of the water. Wait, wait, wait. We'll My man. Don't you worry. How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. Okay, so there's two conversations. There's one. Well, this isn't right. There's the treasure. Antique arcade token. Now I just need to find the second optional objective. Drake. Gotta there say it is. that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Because I'm stunned. Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold, man. I'm going to tell her you said that, too. All right, so two optional conversations. The treasure, that should be it from what everyone's saying. I love the reflections. I know there's no RT or there's no uh, ray tracing in this, but it's to add so much to the game when you can see um, an instance of what's above you. Even though it's, you can clearly tell that that's like a a, a two D texture right there, but it's still pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. 
Let's wrap this up later. My hero. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Remember saying right here is the treasure isn't going to help? Because <laughs> I'm 20 seconds ahead, I could be somewhere completely different. So you got to kind of think 20 seconds ahead of where I'm going to go. It's like a fun game. Where is Strain going to be in 20 seconds? Let me know. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> Well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First round's on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, 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 not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right, suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? Got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the pigging. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one, he, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours, he get the permits? No, he did not get the no. permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money. <laughs> For the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. Leanne, thank you Trust so much for the show. tip. I appreciate I'm it. With you. Humor me. I'm okay? not going to change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. <laughs> no pressure, Nate. Everyone give Leanne a big shout out. Really did your homework on this one. Narrow down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. Yeah, but is the wife gonna let you do it? Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. Chapter 4, A Normal Life. All right, let's look around. Uh, there's no collectibles in these two chapters, from what Renee says. Some years back. But there's things that we can look at, journal entries and whatnot. Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? It's going to be nice unlocking all these uh, trophies again. Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Get us. It's the old gang. 
Found this on my old camera. Thought you'd like to have it. E. I always love their chemistry together. I always love the chemistry between him and Chloe, too, so it was always... It was always a back and forth for me. Who did you prefer? With Nathan Drake, did you prefer... Um, his, his wife here? Or did you prefer Chloe? I would love to know in the comments. Like I said, for me, it was kind of a little bit of both, but I'm glad that he ended up with Lane. Yee. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. I don't remember which one that is that from the Golden Abyss or I never really played the Golden Abyss. Yeah, I need to find uh I think we're gonna get a gun and do like a little gun challenge here, I think. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. That was from Uncharted 3, I believe. <clears throat> oh. Shambhala. <laughs> Miss you, pal. Yeah, Uncharted 2. I think Uncharted 2 is still like one of my favorite Uncharted's. I feel like in Uncharted 2 they just got everything right. Fixed all the issues from Uncharted 1. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. We're having a party. Uh, as a missed, it's a missed opportunity. They should have had a uh, an achievement for shaking the uh, the beads like five times. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. <laughs> I was playing Uncharted 4 multiplayer the other day. <laughs> it's actually still really fun. You can actually play the multiplayer on PS5. I mean, you don't get it in this game. You get it in the previous, the PS4 version of it, but... Really fun still. Yeah. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Bullseye. One. Two. Take that. Don't let him fly, you, Nate. Three. Or eat plastic. <sighs> I gotta keep moving. Back in business. Gotcha. Like a pro. So what did I just get there? Oops. Oh. You go down. What did it take to actually get that? That's what I want to know. We got the first treasure one and... Still got it. Hit all targets in the attic. I thought I already hit them all, but I... Hey, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, bring it. I love. So long. That'll teach you. See ya. Haha, <laughs> still got it. Nice. No! Okay, maybe we have to put it up first. Okay. I was gonna hope. I hope I didn't lose out the ability to get the other collectibles there. Well, playtime's over. Cool. Karthik, thank you so it's much, bud. my style anymore. For the donation. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, I've had a cough the past, like, two weeks. It's really sucked. Now this was a crazy ride. Irim of the Pillars. I don't remember this one. Sri Lanka. Mm. Ah. Another lifetime, Chloe. <laughs> House things. I've been up to my usual shenanigans. Nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on the wind socked, stocked. The wine stocked. Caught wind of something that sounded right up your alley. Should you ever change your mind, give me a yell. I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. I just love their chemistry they had. Is it worth uh, doing the extra $10? Okay, so... If you're a fan of Uncharted... And... You just want... A smoother experience, you're gonna get it... And you get both the games for $10, maybe you already have both the games, which is fine. I don't know, but going from 30 to 60 is a huge... Huge thing to me. And it makes the game so much more enjoyable, so... I'm gonna say yes. If you already have the games, and you're suffice with 30, then I'm gonna say no. If you're paying for the full... Uh, what is it, $49 for the game? the two games but if you're if you've got the previous two purchased on your machine and you're just doing the upgrade then I'm gonna say definitely all right I mean, just, uh, I've said this in many video games, but let's be honest. Just being able to see your reflection in a video game takes so much time. Because mirrors aren't like real mirrors. It's not like it's, it's just reflecting what is on the other side, like in real life. They literally have to create a second room with Nate in it, who's mimicking himself. And everything has to be created double every time you see mirrors. So every time I see a mirror, I think just how much technology uh, has to be used to just have that. And I think uh, a lot of people just don't respect enough of what it takes just to implement uh, a reflection in a mirror. I know it sounds so trivial, but... Uh, we really need to go on another vacation. too long beautiful needs to take more pictures come on dude well thanks so much for watching Shachin I'm glad you enjoy the walkthroughs love the Assassin's Creed series oh, is this what you're working on travel guide I really wish, I really hope someday we can get more adventures. I mean, Nolan North can still play Drake. I mean, you could do adventures earlier in his life. I mean, there's so many things you could still do. I just hope, it's just that, you know, Naughty Dog probably wants to move on to something else at this point, I'm sure. They've really got two franchises going right now, which is Last of Us and <coughs> Uncharted. I know we all want to see it, but... Maybe they need to get another team to come in and, and continue the Nathan Drake franchise. Or I would even wouldn't mind a game with uh <clears throat> with Sam. 
Sam and Chloe or something, or Nadine and Chloe. Nathan can play like a small bit part or something like that. <clears throat> like I said, I'm really taking my time, guys. So, we're just kind of really, really, really looking around here. Ooh, no shower? What house has no shower in it? Well, it's got a shower, obviously, but... I mean, I'm so used to having every house that I've seen in the past 20 years, it's always a, a stand-up shower and a bath separate. My wife would be going crazy at this mess. She is- she's such a clean freak. <laughs> wow. And I would do anything for love. I'd even run to hell and back dinner. Yes, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. Rest in peace, Meatloaf. Alright, looks like we've seen everything in here. <clears throat> That's a very small... I mean, what are these? How many bedrooms is this? So there's a main bedroom. That's one. It's a two bedroom house with an attic too. That just doesn't seem right. I do love how they got the hardwood floors upstairs. <clears throat> Very nice. Ready for some Crash Bandicoot? Sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage. I just, I, I don't mean to pause this, because I know you want to experience the story as much as I do, because I love it. But I just got to say, it's so funny how these two were just sitting here nonchalant talking to each other. When in the back of their minds, they're saying, oh my god, I've killed a thousand people in my life. There's a thousand people with families, friends, that never get to experience sitting down on the couch because of the amount of people that we have killed through our adventures. But man, this food is really good! We got up a river. Mm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently, the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear lord. Okay, so, so, 
the boring stuff. But tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about tourism in Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shock to the lungs, like the second that you got off the plane. So I kind of took this U-turn and became this elegy. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say people... Flights in Bangkok that um, are having troubles with them because the smog and they can't land. Wow. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really? I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky. All right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? <laughs> okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Oh, stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked, I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, uh, play you for it. <clears throat> You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. Good old classic PlayStation. Okay. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm learning all right. I love the, the startup no, music for PlayStation. Load. load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No. No, just... Uh, how do you... Uh, how do you make it go? Push the start button. I, I that am one. not that old, Jeesh. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. Oh, and you can the only do. Circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack. Yeah. Spin press attack. X to jump. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. Use your spin attack. Which button? Circle spin attack. Wait, jump. Jump. Stop yelling at me. I'm encouraging you. I'm coaching you. Keep going. Keep going. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot. And that's just, it's what he does. Oh my god, you gotta control this with your freaking D-pad. And it's not a very good D-pad to do this with. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred. I wish you could use your analog stick. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> nice. 
Damn! First time go at this station. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh! You gotta be kidding me. I practically had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? Really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, me. Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you gonna do? I'm warning Wait, let's, let's go really meta here. Imagine, okay, just for a second. Imagine that we are playing Uncharted 4 and that inside Uncharted 4, they're playing Uncharted 4. And inside the game of Uncharted 4 that they're playing, they're playing Crash Bandicoot. That is meta. In real life, what can you do? I'm Show me, what can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. There's third base right there. That's that's marriage third base. Not open yet. We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Asshole. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. It's about your height, a little bit leaner, definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? Good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> well, the doctors, they... I mean, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I made calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, Everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard, okay? So they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. He's a Sam, I... Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. You would have come back. I know, Nathan, I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you still with me? Need some air. You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. It's a lot to digest, you know? But how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Hey? Have a seat. Okay. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. Tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. Uh, do you remember the theory that we had that Sir Francis Drake faked his own death? Yeah, sure. Okay, he did. I found the coffin. Off the coast of Panama? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, get this, okay. I open it up, right. right? And there's no body. But at the bottom is his old journal. Are you shitting me? 
mean, what can I say? Another lost city destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, the engagement ring. The engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... I, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I gotta tell her all about you. Nathan, I'm in a lot of trouble here. What? What are you talking about? What kind of trouble? Is the name Hector Alcazar ring about with you? Yeah, he's the, the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? Funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Is there any collectibles in this one? I can't remember. Well, you're not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. Listen. The guards, they're singing. Eh, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. Oh. And when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I am sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmente key. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vamanos. I forgot that this chapter was before the main oh, game shit. really started. Well, wow. because we're still in like the intro sections where you really haven't got into the game. Yet. But you're saying there's no collectibles here, so. But I still want to look around. How long have you had this plan? Give me a second. I need to readjust. My back here, sometimes sitting for a long period of time is really, really hard on my, uh, my bad so back. Keep up. You're going to have to move quickly. Holy shit. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here, you'll need this. 
You remember how to use it. Yeah, it'll come back to me. Abrantoros Las Puertas. Hector, you do that, and you'll start a goddamn riot. <laughs> exactly. Háganlo. Te cosa. Oh, they won't let me inside? I mean, the shooting still feels really good. I'm just not a big fan of the PlayStation 5 controller because it's too big for my hands. I just, that's why I prefer the Xbox controller. How the hell are you shooting me from... My god. I forgot hard mode is still, like, ridiculously tough. I feel like I'm gonna die after two shots. And it takes so many shots just to kill everybody else. Alright, let's go. This is crazy! There you go. We're going to need to burn our freedom. You would think there would be collectibles in in this game. Or in this chapter, because you think it would make sense. She got out Let's go. Let's go. Ah! Jeez, man. I still want to look around, though. That's why I'm excited to, uh, there's an achievement to get 70% accuracy. That's got to be one of the hardest trophies to gain on a game like this, because I have never, ever been a fan of Uncharted's shooting mechanics. They've never felt really that great to me. That's why I'm excited to play it on PC, so I could use mouse and keyboard. So now what? Estamos en posición. ¿Están listos? Sí. Busquen dónde cubrirse. Samuel, get behind something. What? Why? Just do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. How many shots it takes to take out enemies? That is crazy.
headshot and it didn't even kill him. I know there's nothing here, but again, I'm still looking around. I want to see all the environments that the developers have made. Said this is gonna take. This is gonna be a very, very long playthrough, guys. We are really gonna be looking around. Samuel, take cover. Samuel, in a minute, we will either be free or dead. Are you ready? Alright, I'm starting to get a little bit more used to the aiming here. It's gonna take a little time. Holy shit. Dude, you're just standing in the corner, bro. You alright? Wow, hard is actually still really hard. Oh, I mean, I've, I've never really liked, like I said, the Uncharted. Uh, for some reason, I've always felt Uncharted shooting mechanics were just... Maybe it's the reticle or something. It always just felt non-responsive to me. I always loved everything else about it. Just the shooting mechanics was never really something that <coughs> set uh, set right with me. But I've been saying that for years, so we'll follow this guy with the rocket launcher. So, 
What's next for Samuel Drake? Huh? <clears throat> Jesus, what is next? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna sleep on a real bed. Let me find a nice warm body to sleep next to me. Uh, track my brother down. Seems like a pretty good start. Uh, it is. So, uh, how long do you think it will take for you to retrieve Avery's treasure? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I uh, get back to the States, I can resume my search. How long? It's kind of hard to say until I get started. You said you know where it is. Yeah, uh, I do, okay? But, listen, it's, it, it's not like Avery left some map with a big red X on it, okay? But I've, I've, I've got some very okay, solid... Keys. Oh, okay. J just, just wait a minute. Take, take, take... Hey, take it easy! <laughs> I like you, Samuel. More importantly, I believed you. That is why you were here. I can, I can get it, okay? I, I just need some time. Tell me, Uncle Gio. You see, the problem is, I'm having all these doubts into my mind. Hector, listen to me. I will find it. I swear. To you. <laughs> How long? Six months. <laughs> Thanks, nice. Pranav, for the donation. I appreciate it, bud. They always ask for more time than they actually need. Three months. Three months is a bad. Three months. Half the treasure. Can you do it? Say it. Three months. Half the treasure. Now, if you run or try to hide the treasure or do something really stupid like go to the authorities. Oh, no. And when you least expect it, I will be there. At that point, death is not a mercy I will grant you. Yeah, my wife's going to give me a Mountain Dew right now, actually. <laughs> she just came in the room. Here. Gotta stay hydrated. Come on. Now, the nearest town is 10 kilometers in that direction towards the sunrise. It's been a while since we've seen the sunrise outside, huh? Mama. When I find it... Then what? Don't worry. When the time comes, I'll be there to collect. When I swear to Samuel. Uh, lets me go, and here we are. This is bad. We just pick up the trail where we left off, and wait, trail? Sam, there's no trail. After Rafe and I escaped, he took his parents' fortune and bought up all the land around St. Dismas Cathedral. We combed that place for weeks. Avery's treasure isn't there. Not that that stopped Rafe. The moron's been digging for years, still hasn't turned up squat. Not really surprised. What does that mean? Well, I just, you know, happened to do a little digging of my own. And, uh, I bet your Rafe doesn't have this. It's really amazing what you can find on the internet these days. It's just the St. Dismas Cross. Oh, is it? Because the one we found was broken and hollow, remember? Holy crap, it's still intact. Avery made more than one cross. Mm -hmm. So whatever was missing from the one in Panama... ...is probably still inside this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, all right. Well, where is this? Oh, this exquisite piece is going up for auction in three days at the Rossi Estate. The Rossi estate. Oh, well, you know it. Uh, yeah. And how do you plan on securing an invite to an exclusive, heavily guarded black market auction? Well, you don't necessarily need an invitation, per uh, se. Huh? 
Yeah, and oh. where are you gonna get the money to outfit all the high rollers? I could take a second mortgage out on my house and it still wouldn't be enough to... Yeah, you're gonna try and steal it, huh? No. We are. Oh, no. No, man, listen, I'm, I can't. I'm, I'm out. What? No, I, I, I just don't do that kind of thing anymore. Besides, there, there are plenty of other guys that are much more equipped to handle this kind of thing. Like who? Um, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Jeez. anybody, uh, Charlie Cutter. No. No, he's my no, go-to no, guy no, for this sort of thing. No, absolutely not. I don't trust Charlie or anybody else that you've got in that phone with my life, okay? Someone was asking, um, when is it coming out on Steam? They have not mentioned a time or date yet. It's just sometime in 2022. They're waiting until enough people have bought it on PlayStation 5 so that they'll make enough money for themselves. Then they'll put it on Steam so they make more money. But they're waiting until more people buy it on PS because that's what they want. They want people to buy it on PS. Sony doesn't care about releasing their games on PC. The developers of those games want their games released on PC, but Sony themselves do not care. They don't give two shits about that. Literally, the only reason God of War is because the Sony, Mani uh, Sony Monica people said, please put this on PC. You're going to get more people that will, um, that will buy it. So Sony just wants money. They don't ever think Sony cares about video games or whatnot. They don't care. They just want money. It's the developers and the people that make those games. They're the ones that care. So always remember that. I need you on this one. Sam, there's got to be another way. Not with the time I got left. Certainly not with Alcazar. Hello? Hey, hon, it's me. Yeah, uh, listen, you're not going to believe this. What? Jameson just walked in here with the permits. Wow, that's, that's great. Yeah. I know, I know, but uh, it's like I'm going to take that Malaysia job after all. I never liked how he lied to her. I mean, at this point, you just tell the truth. But they had to create some type of drama, you know. See anything yet? Just a bunch of high-class, low-life criminals all cleaned up for prom. <laughs> and no sign from Sullivan yet. Well, there's still plenty of time. All right, I'm going to straight up tell you, Green. Yes. But because you have never played any of the Uncharted series before, you need to get the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection first and play through that. Or else... I wouldn't say you're going to be lost because each game stands on its own, but I definitely recommend to play the other games first because there's so much history in those and you've learned to love the characters and you feel more, but you don't have to do that. But I can't, if you've never played Uncharted before, then yes, there's no reason why you should not get this game, especially because I know how you are. You're a lot like me in those instances and, uh, I, I love story, you know? For me, it's all about story. And the stories in these games are so great. It's like adventures, like Indiana Jones. It's, it's our version of Indiana Jones, or should I say it's the gaming world's version of Indiana Jones. So I, I, can't, highly, I can't recommend these games enough. Looks like the storage room's in the building behind the manor. Can you see it from up there? Just the very top of it. Oh, I wonder what they got tucked away in there. Let's just focus on Avery's cross, okay? No, no, you sure you don't want to pick up something for the wife? It's cute. Let's keep it simple. Right, simple. And it would be a whole lot simpler if it was just the two of us. Sam. We could be inside already. Not cleanly. Have you even thought about a backup plan in case uh, Sullivan gets cold feet? No, because he won't. Or if he got caught? Sam, he knows the people running the auction. He's gonna schmooze his way right through that party, get upstairs, unlock the window, and we're in. It's a solid plan. 
Uh-huh. All right, fine. Good, say it. What if he stole the cross for himself? Not in a million years. Victor Sullivan. Same Victor we're talking about, right? Yes, he's double-crossed people in the past, but not us. No, not you. I know you two have never seen eye to eye. Huge understanding. But I trust him, all right? He's family. And, no, 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 no. I just need you to trust him, too. Fine, fine. He'll come through for us. Eventually. But I mean, come on, you have to at least just for one second consider the possibility. There. See? Trust. Just try to keep I, I definitely recommend playing this one too because this one adds a lot of stealth. Now you could stealth in the previous ones. Like Uncharted 2 had a lot of great stealth sections. But they really, in this game, they really set apart the stealth because they allow you to complete a lot of this game's scenarios stealthy. Like, you're going to get into some obviously action fights like we saw in the previous chapter there. But there is a lot of sections where you could literally stealth that entire section or you can get into a huge fight and have it be action packed. It's up to you, but the game gives you that choice. And any game that gives you a choice is, is really great for everybody because, you know, having the choice to be able to stealth something as opposed to not is always something I love. Let's take a look at this. Oh, so beautiful, right? I'm surprised you've never played them, though, man. Nathan, up here. These games would have been right up your alley. I remember the two toughest stealth sections in this game. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here. You mean with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well... Now the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh! The game uh, will not be free on so Steam, this, that's for this sure. First time here? It's gonna oh, cost. More like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, I don't know where collectibles are, but Renee says there's nine collectibles in this chapter. It's a big chapter. And three optional conversations, I think, is what he said. Um, I don't know where they are. I'm just going to look around. Guys, I can't promise I'm going to get every collectible. I'm going to do my best to look around, but sometimes I might miss something. Just the nature of the game. Uh, you know, when you're live streaming, you don't want to spend too much time looking around and making people bored. But at the same time, I don't want to not spend time looking around. <laughs> so I want, to, I want to look for as much as I can, but I don't 100% know where everything is. I didn't do any research in my old walkthrough before I, uh... before I started playing this. I wanted to come into it fresh. And you really gotta pay attention. You gotta look for little shiny things in the environment. And it's very easy to miss something. Alright, I haven't seen anything yet. I'm looking forward to Horizon 2. I may? I don't know, it depends. If you guys would want to see it, maybe I could do a Let's Play for uh, Zero Dawn before Forbidden West comes out. Boom! And we found it. Because I'm so excited for Forbidden West. But I would probably do the PC version. If I purchase it. I already have the PlayStation version. I don't know. Whichever one I would do, but... If you guys want to see it, you know, you gotta let me know. You gotta comment. Uh, I think we found the only one that's in this area, probably. I mean, I don't see why they would put two next to each other, but... I don't think there's a stealth button, a crouch. I was always really concerned in any game that allows you to do stealth that doesn't give you the option to have a crouch. You know? Man, there's no way up under that bridge. Doesn't look like it. I 
That would be hilarious if Epic gave it out for free, but I don't think PlayStation would allow that. PlayStation wants money. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. Okay, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Because I don't think there's at least another treasure, at least right here. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> uh, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Good. Ah, see? Yeah, it's not bad. First, second attempt. Here we go. All right. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Oh. <laughs> I love it, man. I love the animation. Okay, so where to next? I don't know where this uh, this collectible would be. I don't know if it's... Maybe it's up there? Can we get up there or no? I don't know. Looks like we gotta go down. Yeah, let's switch places. Alright, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. It right, looks like he's going down. I don't think it's okay. up. There we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. All right, looks like we just got to go down. All right. Well, I want to start streaming on a regular basis because that's just the way uh, YouTube is nowadays. Is they're leaning way more towards streaming as opposed. Oh, here. To walkthroughs. Okay. All right. Can I climb up there? That looks like you'd be able to grab that, but I don't think so. No, you can. All right, but there's nothing there. Okay. How did I get the PS5? I got really lucky when it came to the PS5, guys. Um, I ordered mine from Walmart, literally the moment you could, and I was able to actually get in. Xbox sent me the PlayStation, or the X Xbox, PlayStation. Xbox sent me a PlayStation, f I keep saying that. Xbox sent me the Xbox Series X. They actually provided it for me. Because uh, I am an Xbox partner. Hold up. Okay, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Ah, right, you say there's an optional conversation up ahead. I don't know where it is. I'm looking though. I'll look down here first. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Oh, here we go. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. Cool. Hey, there's a building we can enter. As an up, down, and a downstairs. I'm looking around for a collectible, though. Which one do I prefer? Story-wise, obviously, PlayStation right now is the best. There we go. Nice. Console-wise, I prefer the Xbox. 
I prefer the dashboard of the Xbox. I prefer the uh, the friends list, how it does its friends on Xbox, how easy it is to communicate. Whereas on PlayStation, you can't even just go to your friends. You have to go to the settings. Then you have to go to weird things just to be able to get to your friends list. There's not a button that just pops up your friends list so you can easily chat, communicate with people. Which I don't understand why you can't do that. I, I, it mind boggles me how PlayStation is so far behind when it comes to uh, the the different ways that you can connect with players. Where Xbox is just, it's right there on the dashboard, talk to your friends, <clears throat> easy to chat, communicate. In the controller I like so much more. I nearly there. On Xbox. All right, so we did the collectible and a conversation. But uh, we're still looking around. I'm trying to think where I was. What, how, what was I doing in my life in 2016? I was just about ready to get out of active army. And move to a completely new state, new area that I've never been to before in my life. And uh, before we had Ella, our little girl, so... That should hold. <clears throat> it says quick press and your friends are right there. Tell me where they are. Tell me where, tell me where your friends list is with a quick press. You got notifications. Home, music, sound, mic, accessories, myself, profiles, online status. Where's your friends? They're not right there. Exactly. It's not as easy to get to your friends from here. Xbox is so super easy. You have to press home. You have to go to settings. I just don't prefer that. I want to... I would rather it be a super easy... I don't know. Am I doing this right? I think. I think I just got to go left and right. Oh! That is not the way! That is not... I needed to rappel down. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> oh, okay. I need... Yeah, this is... Uh... You can DD your friends to it. But I, I, I don't like that. I mean, it should just be very easy to get to. You shouldn't have to do all of that. Okay, now I'm... Okay, I repelled down. It's not letting me move left or right. You see what I mean? I can't move left or right. Now I'm actually really confused why it's not letting me do this. It's been a while. All right, come on down. All I'm saying is, look, I love PlayStation. I love, I love all consoles. I mean, they're never going to beat PC, but yeah, tell me about it. I just on the Xbox, you hit one button, and right there they are. Wonderful finds, the ones I missed. You at least take any pictures? Oh. I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. You can tell there's a sense of, like... Anything to climb here. I don't know where the next treasure is, so that's why I'm looking here. Do I see anything shiny down there?
I don't see anything sticking out shiny, but I'll look just in case. Nope. Alright. Okay, nothing up here. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. the animations man so good I always look for bottom ledges in case there's like a place you can drop down that would have a collectible oh yeah the Scotland level man stealthing through that section was so tough again I don't know if I'm gonna do it here on the live stream it depends on if you guys want me to do it or not I'm gonna leave that up to you all okay it's if you want me to, right if you now. want me to go through the process of learning to stealth the Scotland section and the the jungle section later on in the game for the uh, trophy, then you know you let me know. I don't see a collectible over here. I don't see a way to be down, so I'm gonna go up. Guess you gotta do it while you're running. Hey, it's my bud. Hi, thanks. Uh, What's up, Brian? Nathan. What? Oh, you know where all of them are. Well, I got them all in my walkthrough. Years ago, but I haven't played it in so long, I don't remember. Okay. You alright? Yeah. How do I look? I've got everyone so far, though. Bucks. Let's go. Alright, I'm right behind you. Sully! Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you're smoking doors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Ah. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be gone to him. <laughs> Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What? Worry about that. Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's gotta be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's gotta be something. Well, if the gods see us <laughs> make it for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. 
Yeah, that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. Hey. How are you? Ciao. Would you focus? Waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. Bring on the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? I just know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right. Follow me. All right, so we're going to turn around. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind of you. Said there's a collectible in this room. <clears throat> yes, you are right. All right, there it is. Viking cloak clasp. Now, I said something about an, all, an optional conversation. The balcony is with Sam, okay. So I think that's probably it. Look at it, they still rendered this stuff outside. Cool beans. Okay. Yeah, make sure when you guys tell me this stuff, it's always early enough so I can catch it in time because of the delay. When you stream on, on in 4K, man, there's always a huge delay. What are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. All right, let's say there's a collectible somewhere. Oh, right there. Nice. All right, so far we got them all leading up. Nice. And we're moving at a snail's pace. Just want to take a look at the uh, this area down here before we go down there. It's kind of... Look at the detail. It would have been really fun if you could actually see Rafe from up here, but I don't think this character is in yet. Oh. Like I said, we're going to be taking our time and being real thorough. I just want to take a look at everything. It'll totally be Brandon's fault if I miss any, uh, collectibles. It's almost not as fun to say it's Brandon's fault anymore because of the stupid meme that's out there. <laughs> All right, we just got to figure out where the next collectible is and when we're going to get to it. Here's the front entrance. Welcome! Benvenuti! Buen viene! Welcome in! Buen viendo! Talk to him again? There's another collectible? What? Talk to who again? Sam again?
Devi scusarmi se ti faccio perdere tempo. Figurati, figurati. Oh, here's something. I thought I had a reasonable grasp, or at least a possible French accent. But then a few months ago, what is this? Marassi is eight auction, lot order page one of three. Auction starts at 1900 hours. All bids final, all payments are required by midnight tonight. Start bidding annual fare to pay for the items will result in several penalties. Transport of your items, if required, can be arranged with a Rossi estate manager. I figured this is how an, uh, an auction person would sound. Lot number 539, lot holder Ching Xing Holding Company. Description, collection of Chinese bronzes, starting price is 200,000 euros. Lot number 34. Description, six terracotta soldiers for 8,250 euros. Lot number 143, four terracotta archers for 5,250. All right, we don't need to read all of those. That'd take probably forever. I'm guessing it's going to be, what is it going to be? Skull, gold, silver plaque, the Linus. 10 million euros. I try to add a, a, I, I try to make these let's plays a little fun. It's not like me. I don't want to be annoying, but I want it to. I want it to be fun. I just don't want to be too, too much out there. Sellers just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course, they play douchey European techno. Excuse me. I don't know if there's any more optional conversations. Didn't we do three already? Scusi? Scusi. Excuse me. Pardon me? Yes, I would like a wine spritzer, please, with grenadine. Trying to cut back. Hey, twins, right there. Want access? I can get you in. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. <clears throat> All right. Nothing to see here. Not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. No, oh, so close. I'm just being extra careful. Well, don't. I like how I'm just literally standing out in the open here. I think you just have to look at it. That's why. I didn't get the concept there. <laughs> you just gotta look at it. <laughs> and he doubted me. Now, I wonder if there's an achievement tied to that. Bless you. 
much of the watch professionals at work. Mm, okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. That's so out of place here. Yeah. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Dean Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? All right, back yeah, on the collectible hunt. Can I find where the waiters and caterers are? And lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Oh, that was weird. It like, uh... Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh, yeah. They're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. See nothing yet. Nothing here. Nothing here. Alright, so I don't see anything inside here, but we looked around. I'm gonna make sure I save. Because I got so many people telling me different things of where they are, so it's, it's hard, um... Is there one inside this area here? I, I I didn't see one. That's why I saved right there, just in case. But I don't see anything shining. Oh my god, it's right there. Wow. Woo! Thank god I went back there. I looked right there and didn't see it at first, so... At least some of these can be pretty easy to miss. It's a good spot for it. All right, on to the next one. We're gonna try to find them all. They're like Pokemon, you know? I remember we come back into this room or something with these guards. Nah, just more heavily armed goons. 
Now we just gotta figure out where the next one would be. How many have we picked up so far? Three, maybe? Three or four? I, I don't really know. The hell is this? This gate wasn't on the blueprint. Aha! Nice. Brass Barber. On to the next one. Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. I think you gotta get up but there, there, right? And it's locked. Right. Yeah, some people are probably going to be a little bit further behind than others in the video, so it can be really confusing for people. Alright, uh, yeah, the, whoever uh, Sachin is, they're way behind where we are currently. You need to click the premiere button so that you're up to date on where we are. I see some fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. You got some over here. All right, I see nothing in this room. There we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Dead end. Hey, uh, should we worry that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross? I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Oh, wait, hold on. I guess you can't get back there from there. Oh, I see what you gotta do. I move that, I guess you don't have to move it. <laughs> Kinda made you think you did. Alright, there's that. Another dead end. Still no collectible that I'm seeing. There you go. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, this way. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Holding the lighter. Thank you. 
God, you would think putting putting a collectible right here would have been the perfect spot once you move that, because then no one would ever think to to look back. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> a lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Ah, quello con il parrucchino e con la roba sul naso? Portali a sciacquatore dei piatti. Tanto non capirete della differenza. Sbrigati però. Sai che a questa gente non piace aspettare. Questa gente meriterebbe un caldo culo. Questa gente deve ammazzare. Gli ha da tre ore. E andiamo. Fresh air, here we come. All right. I'm sure there's going to be some collectibles somewhere here. Okay, if he's going that way, I don't want to go that way yet. I want to go down. Oh, is that going to... I know he's up there. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I remember a collectible in this area as well. But I also remember one on the roof. I don't know if that's the same one you guys are talking about or not, but... There we go. Nice. All right. So far, so good. How many have we picked up so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thirteen so far. That's why I do what I do. That's why I explore, and that's why I love taking my time through these games. Just take a look at the beautiful vistas. As the sun is setting. Yeah, so you guys are way behind. I literally, I find that like almost a minute before 
<laughs> you guys see it. <laughs> so I really got to be slow if I'm missing something. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. I know there's another one, though, right? I don't think that was the last one that's in this area, right? Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. There you go. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar. Heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Now, I know that there's another one around here. I don't... I don't remember exactly where... I know you can't get up there, so I don't think coming up here is... Oh! Boom! Right there! Alright, Persian Candlestick. Found the kitchen, and of course it's locked. Hmm. How else would you get that collectible then? I mean, that's got to be the only way to actually get it, right? I guess you would climb down that, and then you could probably jump over, but... Mine worked just the same. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window. On to the next one. the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Got it? Heads up, heads up. Buonasera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. All right, so now we have another okay. one to find. How Let's many have I found so far? Room. Five? I want to say. It means there's like four left. I don't know if there's another one in these areas. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? No, oh, we're in Rome. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm going to head back to the ballroom. It's not a... <laughs> Sam, you there? The Sam? only thing about doing Sully? this type of Let's Play... Great. ...is the people that are watching after the fact have... If they know where the collectibles are, they have to watch me fumble my way through to find them. That's the only, I would say, negative thing about doing Let's Plays, but... You, no one knows exactly where everything is to start off with. You have to search and find it, you know? When I first did this walkthrough, I had to literally go through every nook and cranny without recording, find the collectible, find the collectible, then go back, and then record, and then... boom. It's not... It's not an easy process. It takes a long time. Making these videos takes a very, very, very long time. Okay, you can see that there is something over here. But there's also something over there. So knowing which way is the... I think that's the one that completes. And you probably got to jump from there or something to get over there would be my guess. So, I'm going to follow this path first, because I think... Can you climb this? Well, you can already see right there. Look. See, those are things to climb. 
expecting you to jump from there to there. Let's see, is there anything along the side here? Sure is. My god. Okay, just like riding a bike. Several hundred feet in the air. Exactly, that's what they do. They'll yell at the screen. It's right there, dude! You didn't see it! Especially like... Like, why didn't you go down the well? <laughs> you know? You got, you, I could already hear the people talking about it. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. <clears throat> All right, jump across. Jumping mechanics are just still so great. Oh. I don't think you can make that jump. There you go. Okay. Next treasure is once you jump across onwards to the radio tower. Okay. We'll find it. All right, so we're jumping across here. Almost looked like you wouldn't make that. Jeez, that was a huge jump. Oh, shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> Recognize someone? No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh. Like, dead out? Oh, no. More like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Hmm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan! How the hell are you? Rafe. How long has it been? Ten years? Twelve? Fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. I see. <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel. You two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? 
Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, little man. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. I think he's a perfect villain, though. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. All right, so... Another collectible somewhere here, I'm sure. I don't know exactly where. Not gonna drop down yet, though. I don't see anything up here. At least not yet. I know there's- I think there's one up here somewhere, but I don't remember where. I don't know if we have to jump straight across. Cause like I said, sometimes when you go too far, can't make it back. Alright, so I'm just gonna guess you just- you gotta jump across. Cause I'm not seeing anything stick out. God, why did I pick the power room? Okay. I don't see anything yet. Climb this. <laughs> I'm not sure which left wall you're talking about, though. You gotta remember, I'm so far ahead when you say that. I might die right here, but... Yeah, I figured. All right. Um. You said something about drop to another pole, but here is the pole. Turn left towards the sea, drop off the ledge ahead of you. Well, you can't really do that, as you can see. So I don't think this is the pole you're talking about. God, why did I pick the power room? Oh, I see it right there. Awesome. Just barely saw that out of the corner of my eye. Okay, but how do I get there? Oh, that is going to be kind of challenging. Oh, how am I going to get that? Uh... I'm going to save. I see that right there. I guess... Uh, I don't see any pole below me to jump to. I, d I don't think it's going to let me do a side jump here. No, it only lets me go straight. So. I 
Okay, maybe... Let's see here. How do you switch? There it goes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I can climb possibly here. Can I shimmy along the side? No. I think... Oh my gosh, how am I going to get this? Jump up and then maybe jump... If I go too high, I don't want to get to the point where I can't go any further. I'm hoping I can get here. I really don't know if I've gone too far. I don't... Can I, it won't let me jump across this. If I could grab a hold of that, that would be great. Yeah, because that's going to be the story path. So there's something I'm missing. I just need to be able to turn sideways here to grab that somehow. You can literally see it right there. All I, all I need to do is just sit right there. <laughs> they really made this one tough. I, 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 I honestly do not see a way for me to get over there right now. Yeah. See, it just goes to the cover. It doesn't let you... Oh, okay. There we go. All right. I was going to say, I know I'm sorry I took so long, but it looked like I, if I dropped down from there, it would just kill me. We got it, though. That's all that matters. It honestly looked like it would kill me if I tried to drop from here. All right, we got it. That's what matters. Thanks, everybody. Cool beans, cool beans. Hold on, turn around. There you go. So, unless he's able to make that jump, which I don't think he can. I think you gotta go this way. Is that the last collectible? Did we really get nine? That can't be nine. Hey, look. Let's see, first... Is that... The first two were in this, the second chapter. We didn't have one anyone. Then we had, what, three? Or f probably four and then one. Yeah. Wow. We're moving right along then. Sweet. Sorry it's taking me so long, but... Really just trying to explore as much as we can. Okay, we can't jump there. Climb this. Yep. Alright, made it in here. It's so awesome playing this again. Ecco fatto. Oh, 
Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. Direi che per stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Che cosa? Okay, anything in here? Nope. Err. Uh... Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing it, remember? What if he calls my bluff? He won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. <laughs> Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Scott. Benley, we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. You'll be out of there in no time. <coughs> Isn't this like a timed thing? Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. Now uh, from what? <sighs> nope. We are now at 140. Your bid signore takes us all the way Nothing. to 100,000 euros. There's gotta be something. Come on. And then, uh, start to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Signore's bid makes 170,000. Yes. We are now at 180,000 euros in the room. <laughs> gotcha. We now reach to 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak... Sparisci. Fine. Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Got a lot of fighting going on here in this chapter, but they're saying there's no collectibles, so... But, again, I just like looking around. So you're still gonna see me looking every nook and cranny, because I just want to get the most out of this. Hmm? 
Alright, we'll try to be stealthy. Again, I can't promise that every section will be stealthed. Okay. I will be more than happy to give it a shot. Everywhere. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Yes, everyone that has subscribed, thank you so much. I, you know, I appreciate it. Non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. I wish she would take their barracks. weapons, though. All right, see you soon. Yeah.
<sighs> okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look oh, at me. Oh, we got that Nadine cool. fight coming up. Stroll right on out of here. Okay, nothing. All right, here we go. Oh, scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but uh, I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? <laughs> All right, fine. Just remember... I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Uh, nothing to beat you with, that's for sure. You're, you're way too good for me. Don't telegraph so much. I'm just trying to make it fair. So you can't block. Nice. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. <laughs> Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify. <clears throat> All right, look, I'm still a little jet lagged. How about we just call it even? See, if, it won't even let you roll, so there's really no way to hit her. <laughs> it's a good introduction to the character, though. Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smartass? Okay, come clean. You're no chiropractor. Your technique is really not helping my back. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. It's in my back pocket. <clears throat> Where is it? Right How convenient for these poles to be right there. Super right, convenient. The car. Where the hell are you guys? I just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. I'm trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. Okay, where am I going? Uh, I, I'm guessing I gotta go to there. Otherwise I don't see... ...any other way. Oh, actually, maybe I just gotta go down. No, that looks like I would die if I went down there. Alright, I'm really confused on where I actually need to go. Can I just drop? It really doesn't feel like... I feel like if I drop, I'm dead. Huh. No? 
<laughs> it's got to be a jump from here to there. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I don't know who that is. Nice shooting. You're right. Nice shooting. I'm yeah. definitely not going to get the percentage. <laughs> I can't get to you from here. You got a way down? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right. See you there. All right, so we can go back and stealth. So we can even, I mean, obviously right now, we could shoot the enemies and then just do it that way. Or we can try to go back into stealth mode. We're going to try to go back into stealth mode and see if that works. We could also just jump off, die. I mean, that's another option. It just depends on... I, I don't know if you want to do that option or not. Hmm. Trying to think. He would see me if I tried to do that. He's going to turn around super fast. Studying their moves here. Yep, he turns around. Ooh, talk about a freaking leap, baby. I think he comes in here. Let me wait and see if this guy comes in or not. What was the best walkthrough I've ever enjoyed? I mean, that's tough. I've done so many walkthroughs that it's hard for me to name the best one I've done. Alright, I'll do it this way. Uh, well, let me actually go to the side. There it goes. Oh, now he comes in! No, but he doesn't give me an opportunity. Okay. Alright, so it seems like my best chance is to try to get inside here. really taking my time with these encounters because I really want to get the best I can out of them. So, my question is, when he comes into this doorway, does he go left or right? Because if he goes right, I could get in, go to the left side of it, and then come back around. Just like that. K. 
Okay. Uh, looks like a little too far away for me. Best option is going to be to jump. Fatality. I do want to do a God of War 3. Um, I did most of it. I don't think I've done all of it, but... Way back when God of War 3 originally... Nice stealth first, ask questions later. Okay, you want him to be inside these bush areas before you before you do this. Perfect. You guys know me. Doesn't matter if I'm doing Let's Plays or not, I still try to be as stealthiest as I can. Best option might be when he's over in that area. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Perfect so far, guys. Let's see if we can keep it up. I don't know if I could drop on him. I thought he was going to grab the next lower one. That's why I did that. Okay, good. It doesn't take us too far back. That's good, though. Again, you don't know this until you've tried it out and you see. I legit thought, and he's already gone, so that's good. We don't have to do it again. There is a second guy here. I, just, I didn't even notice that before. Okay, one comes over here. Now you guys are truly seeing what I go through when I make my walkthroughs. It's essentially me sitting here learning where, what are their patterns? Where are they going? It 
See, with two of them in the room, this makes it super tough. I don't think they come over here. Like a glove. All right. I think we're going to jump across there. Or possibly down there. Almost to the ballroom. All right, slow it down. I'm pinned down in here. I can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Okay, I know that this is there, but where is it going? Can I not... No. You got- you gotta shoot him. I don't see any other way, guys. I mean, I could jump. Okay, hold on. Let's look at his timing. Okay, he's looking in that direction. Then he looks in this direction. Might be enough time. Got him. Alright. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, Christ, thank you. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I think I'm done with this auction, huh? Oh yeah, it's me too. All right, boys, change of plan. Too many people trying to leave. The driveway's all jammed up. Shit, what's up, Alex? No, 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 no! There's that fountain just outside the ballroom. I'll meet you there. Got it. Let's go. Let's try. It takes way too much damage. Take out these enemies, man. It's so crazy.
Yeah, I got nothing. It's just so quick to die. I wish we had grenades. This is why I would not want to compete for that freaking trophy. Thank you for getting us to 300 likes, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying so far. Okay. I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. Look what? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. <clears throat> All right. Skull and crossbones. Very good, sir. Xavier's insignia. What is this? Uh, Hodie mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? Some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. St. Dismas's cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. 
Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. <sighs> Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and a whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. I mean, come on, it's both, right? <laughs> we need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Oh, Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look. <laughs> With all that you two have been through together. She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. <sighs> I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me, yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, <laughs> but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Yeah, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Bye. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Oh, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Last chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right, see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah? Just, uh... Ah, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. Uh, I got to get back to take care of my little girl. Obviously, being a dad takes up a lot of my time, too. So um, nice little five hour stream here to start things off. We're going to be back again tomorrow at 11 a.m. to continue our journey. Like I said, this game is probably going to take us two to three, possibly even four streams to get through because we're being so thorough trying to find every treasure. And so far, as you can see, we have found every one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to uh, keep up to date on what's going on on the channel and everything that's going to be going on over the next few weeks and whatnot, make sure you're over on our Discord.gg slash one uh, yeah, the game finally really starts to open up at this point. Lots of exploring to do, so I can't wait to get into that. So thank you again so much, everyone, for tuning in. I hope you'll be here tomorrow as we continue our journey with our 100% um, I guess collectible. I guess we're going to try to find every collectible. We might as well go ahead and do it, right? So uh, thanks again so much, and I will see you on the next one. Have a safe day, and be safe. Peace.